All right, final stretch, take two. A couple of points I missed here on Doctor Strange. I wanted to indicate the initiation, the beginning, opening scene. He is working on a patient lay down on a table. He has his implements on a table. Uh, very much like the magician card, as I mentioned in the last video, they got cut off. <laughs> Here we have Doctor Strange working his mojo, and he's got the one hand up, one hand down, kind of uh, that as above, so below motif. Uh, you know, another thing about the Magician card, he has bracelets. He's wearing, or at least the one bracelet, and that is a part of his magic when he... Uh, uh, triggers that time amulet. Uh, he has little arm bands of green light. So moving forward to the Black Panther. Uh, the Black Panther, I have very good reason to believe, is the star card, which I was mentioning a lack of anything black in the card. Uh, but it is in the uh, sign of Aquarius. And Aquarius is actually an air sign. The star is up in the air. Uh, but the card depicts a woman standing in water with waterfalls or water falling off of her hands. Um, definitely has that Aquarius motif. Uh, so... Uh, the stars can only be seen in the night st night sky. And so that would be a good reason for the Black Panther to be uh, in all black. And all of his, um, uh, shall we say, accessories are silver. And they stand out against the black of his, his outfit. So his initiation uh, and his right... To be the Black Panther is uh, takes place in a sacred grotto with a waterfall scene. I'll show you a couple images of that. So he has a baptismal rite of passage built into the movie, which is a John the Baptist. Absolutely, beyond a doubt, is a reference to John the Baptist. Uh, I am of the impression that a lot of the uh, symbols of John the Baptist, in fact, were very African. Uh, you know, he wore a leather skin, or excuse me, a leopard skin, and he carried around um, locusts encased in honey, which is a ritual in South Africa where they catch the migration of locusts in honey and save them for the times of the year when you will need protein. Um, just real quick before I show some of the pictures. Release date was 1-1-3 of 2017, and the star card is the 17th card, uh, and that day of the year is the 306th day, so there is our circle, full circle, 306, 36, 360. Um, so you may want to go back to previous videos or maybe look up uh, Zachary Hubbard in his Gamatria channel, if you want to get an idea of what 113 is all about. Uh, it may have something to do with Chad Aaron Bozeman's passing away, uh, C-A-B, those are his initials, Cabra is a goat, sacrificial animal, C-A-B, something to think about. Here we have a picture of the Black Panther with the starry night sky behind him. Uh, here is the grotto of the baptismal waterfall where he gains his uh, right to wear the mantle of the panther. And here again is uh, kind of, he's encircled, he's surrounded, uh, much like his Let's see if it's, uh, you can't really see it here, but he has a necklace 
And his necklace is uh, full of the sacred alloy of the Wakandans that holds the armor of his outfit that he wears. So that will summarize the Black Panther. I'm going to read the star card very quickly and then I'm going to bed. The star is, like we said, the 17th card in the tarot deck. Coupled with the sign of Aquarius, just as the young woman pours water, Aquarius pours forth creativity and new ideas. Excuse me. This card denotes hope and inspiration, perhaps from an unexpected source. The foundation is sound, change is natural and balanced. A bright future is in store. So there we have it, folks. There's only two cards left. And I've already told you what they are. If you don't remember, maybe you go back and uh, watch everything all over again. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace and strength, y'all.